In this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, I will show you how you can quickly build levels with the new cube grid feature in Unreal Engine 5 and really quickly make some level design changes. And this is what I'm going to show you today. Before we go into modeling mode, we make sure we have nothing selected. So if you have something selected like this, hit the escape key on your keyboard, then go to select mode and then into modeling. Right now, you can see a lot of options right here. Underneath shapes, create and poly model, you will find cube grid. Click cube grid. And now you will see a big grid that appears on the side of your screen. Now you can select which part you want to work with. Let's say I want this part. You can hit the pull icon or E for shorts. And whatever you select, you can drag up like this, for example. Otherwise, push to the opposite and you can click the button or you can even punch a hole in the ground and you create holes just like this or for certain parts also you can hit Q as a short key. Let's say you increase this one here. You can also slide forward or slide back. So now when I now hit pull or E on my keyboard it leaves some space and flip. So let's say I slide back now and when I hit flip and I hit slide back this flips the, uh, the side that I can pull or push in just like this. So here are some more short keys. For example, we can also go into corner mode. So let's say we want to create a ramp here. I have these ones selected, for example. So I hit corner mode. Right now I get these vertices. So whenever I select these vertices with shift click or just drag on top of them, I can also hit E to pull up or Q to pull down. And then that way I can create some ramps. And I can hit done when I'm done with that one. Or short key, you can also hit Z to go in and out of that mode. Some more short keys right here, for example. The toggle corner, we also did that. E and Q to pull up and down for this resize grid. Control E or Control Q. This also works here, the blocks per step. So for example, when I go into here, and now I, instead of one, let's say I move this to five. You can really see I can big get big blocks. You can hit this arrow to go back. So now it's back to normal. You can also increase the power of two here so you can get different dimensions or you can also scale down a bit. So when you want to work really small, you can make these fine increments and also push them down like this. Also hit the arrow to go back to that once again. Another one is the gizmo. So for example, let me pull up this for a bit. And then when I hit R on my keyboard, I will get this gizmo. So, for example, I can really turn around my world. When I now select this and hit E or Q, this moves. But I would rather do it with the corner mode, so this is maybe not that convenient, at least my taste. Ctrl Z to undo that one, or you can just play around with this. When you're happy with what you create, you click complete. Now, this is turned into one static mesh onto my browser. So when I go out of my modeling mode into select, you can see what we created here. Looks very pretty. Now, it's just for testing purposes. I also recommend you just test out this a bit and you can get your player start. So you can here grab your player start. And then there it is. Drag this up, make sure it's above the level, hit the end key on your keyboard, E and D. And now you are inside of this level that we generate and you can test out if this slope is good enough for you and if this level design works out for you. Okay, now when you go to your content drawer, inside of content, third person, maps, we have now a tab generated and then a name. And in generated, let me go out a bit, let's dock this in the layout. Now, I can also drag this into my Unreal project. It is the exact same as the one I had before. So let me pull this right here, for example, next to this one. But let's say I want to make some changes. So let's go uh, right click and then you can duplicate or control T and name this QGrid2, for example. Now, when I drag this inside of my level, let's also push this more time. When I make changes now, these are the first one and this is the second one. So let's have this one clicked. Then when I go back into modeling mode, but now I have this one selected. And then let's say I can deform it a bit. 
So let's click this one, for example. And I can really push this one out. You see, I'm dragging out with my mouse. But these are, uh, you can also go back into the cube grid mode. And let's punch some holes and then some upper here with E. And then hit complete. You see, I really messed this up now. But watch when I go out of this. You see these weird shapes here on the left and the right. But nothing changed here. That's because I duplicated this. Or I can make a child. Uh, now, that's more with blueprints, but you get the point what I'm uh, seeing. So everything from here is changed in the one I had first. And then which one I previously duplicated doesn't get these changes. So let's say you want to create two maps, two maps of a first person shooter. Then you can just uh, duplicate and mirror these and maybe make some adjustments left and right, for example. Another quick tip before we close off is to go here into modeling mode shapes and then also drag one of these ones out. For example, you can get some stairs. Click on the stairs, you have this one selected. You can get a linear one or, for example, a spiral one. And you can also increase the number of steps with height and then drag them inside of your level like this. So now this looks like this, for example. And this is how you can quickly grey box a level with cube grids in Unreal Engine 5 or improve your level design and later on replace these missed static meshes or add some materials to them. Okay, I hope this helped. More videos like this on my YouTube channel. See you then. Bye.